Welcome back. Today we're doing Kathy's request of a palm tree tree of life. If you have a pattern request, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Now let's get started. We're going to start by making the fronds. So grab one of your 60 inch strand of green cord and fold it in half. Then we're going to attach one of our 35 inch strand of green cord right in the very middle of our folded cord. And we're going to attach it by using a vertical double half hitch knot. First, fold your 35 inch cord in half so that it's centered behind your middle cord. Next, make a loop on your right, wrap your tail end around and through the loop. This is half of your vertical double half hitch knot. To complete the other half, you have to repeat the same thing. So make a loop on your right, wrap your tail end around and through the loop. Then just cinch up the slack. Next, we're going to attach the smaller 16 inch strand of cord. And we're going to attach it the same way we did with the longer one. So fold it in half to make sure that it's centered behind your cord. Then create your vertical double half hitch knot. And it's really important to make sure that it's centered, so double check. If you ever find that I'm going too fast for you, feel free to adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Once you have both cords on, make sure that it's in the center of your original cord and we're going to flip our board around sideways. So now your longer tail end will be the first cord right here and the shorter one the second. Your longer cord will be your working cord. So grab your working cord and pull it behind your shorter cord and we're going to tie a vertical double half hitch knot. So we're going to form a loop on our right, wrap our tail end around and through the loop and repeat. This is a forward facing vertical double half hitch knot. And this is important to remember because we're going to be alternating. So when the loop is on your right hand side, that is a forward facing vertical double half hitch knot. Next for a second knot, we're going to do a backward facing vertical double half hitch knot. So this time our loop is on the left and you wrap your tail end around and through the loop and then repeat. Okay, so now we're gonna tie two more, one forward facing vertical double half hitch knot and then a backward facing vertical double half hitch knot. <laughs> Try to say that 10 times fast. Okay, so now we completed this side, it's time to flip it all the way around and we're gonna do the same thing but mirrored on the opposite side. So that just means that we're gonna start with a backwards vertical double half hitch knot first. Don't forget, if you have a pattern request, please leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. You do not want to miss the next videos I have planned. I have something really exciting up my sleeve, but I cannot announce it just yet. You'll have to subscribe and wait and see. Okay, so now that we finished the second side, we're going to flip it all the way upside down and we're actually going to do the same thing to the very top. This time it doesn't matter which side you use as your working cord, so just pick a side you're comfortable with and alternate. Okay, so let's flip our board all the way back around and we're going to attach another 35 inch strand of cord. And of course we're attaching it with another vertical double half hitch knot and make sure it's centered. Slide it all the way up to the top to meet your other one and we're going to attach another short piece. And you guessed it, we're going to repeat the same thing we did to the first set. And we're going to repeat until we have eight little leaves on our frond. Next we're going to clean up the ends, but first make sure your last knot is secure. And when you snip off your excess rope, you want to leave just a tiny little tail. The reason for this is because we're going to hot glue it in place, but you do not want to hot glue your knot. You want to take your tail end and you want to fold it behind your knot. Um, I hope that makes sense. Give me a thumbs up in the comments if you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all the other ends, except the one that we attached all our cords onto. We're going to leave the bottom loop. So you should have something that looks like this. And we're going to repeat the same thing three more times. 
All right, so grab one of your palm leaves. This one's gonna be the one that's at the very top of our tree of life. And we're gonna snip the end. Open up your bottom two cords, then grab all 10 of your butcher's twine. Fold your butcher's twine in half so that we can find the center. And then what you wanna do is place your center right between your two green cords. Next, we're gonna tie a regular overhand knot with our green cords. Just a single overhand knot will do. We don't need a double, otherwise it'll get too bulky. Next, we're gonna gather all of our palm leaves together, but make sure that the palm leaf that has the butcher's twine is at the very top. This part can get a little awkward to handle, so make sure you have your jute ready. And don't get too finicky of the placement of your leaves. You just wanna make sure that the one with the butcher's twine is at the top. The rest we can fix later. Once you have all of your palm leaves gathered up, grab your jute and we're going to form a small loop at the end. Place the loop facing downwards and the small tail end facing upwards. What we're going to be doing is tying a gathering knot. Now this can get a little bit tricky because your jute is quite long. But once you have it wrapped around a couple times, it gets a little bit easier. You only want to wrap your jute around so that it's about an inch to an inch and a half in length. Okay, so once we get to about an inch and a half, I'm going to send my tail end of the jute through the loop. Once it's through, we're going to take the short tail end at the very top here and we're going to pull. This is going to secure all your leaves together and hide your join. Snip off the top short tail end, but leave the bottom long one. We're going to need that. Next, go through all of your cords and give them a good tug. Make sure it's quite taut because this is gonna shape our leaves and also we cannot fix it later on. So do a very thorough job and double check to make sure everything is nice and snug. Once you're satisfied with the shape of your leaves, we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're gonna glue the bottom of our long tail end. This is going to help keep our gathering knot in place because we're going to grab the long tail end and we're going to wrap it around all of our center cords. But keep your glue gun handy because we're going to glue it as we go along. I like to hot glue and wrap about an inch at a time. That way our hot glue won't harden on us. And as you're working, try to keep your white butcher's twine in the center. Take your time and make sure that your tension is even all the way down. Keep wrapping your trunk until it's about 7 inches in length or you have about 2 inches left to go to the bottom of your hoop. Next, trim all of your green cords. Make sure you do not trim your jute or your butcher's twine. We want that small tail end of the jute to cover the little bits of green we have at the bottom. Now all you should be able to see is your white butcher's twine. Working with groups of four, we're gonna tie spiral knots. To tie a spiral knot, all you have to do is form a loop with your leftmost cord. Then with the rightmost, you wrap your tail end around and through that loop. And then you repeat over and over and it will start to spiral. Now there's really no wrong or right way to form the roots. I suggest playing around with it until it forms a shape that you like. However, to make your roots look a little more realistic, you want it to gradually taper off. So right here I have a group of eight cords and then I split it into two groups of four. The more random and gnarly it looks, the more realistic. Now before we attach our roots to the hoop, we want to attach our leaves first. Since I'm using single strand cotton rope, I'm going to use the thread that's inside of our rope. This is just a scrap piece I saved earlier. However, you can just use regular cotton thread if you have it. And I apologize, there's really no graceful way for me to demonstrate for you. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm wrapping the thread around one of my leaves, and then I wrap that around my hoop, and then I tie a double overhand knot to secure it. And I'm also gonna attach the two side leaves to the hoop as well but I'm gonna leave the front leaf because I kinda like how it droops over. Again, there's really no wrong way to do this, so just play around with it and see what kind of shape you want your palm tree to take on. Now, I didn't glue my leaves in place onto the hoop. If you want to make sure that it's very secure, you can go ahead and do that, but use E6000 glue. Now to attach our roots. 
first, lay your roots out to the shape that you like. Then divide your root in half so that two cords are behind the hoop and two in front and continue on tying spiral knots. By tying it onto the hoop like this, it almost looks seamless. It's almost as if the roots grew around your hoop. I mean, I could be pretty nerdy here, but I thought that, that was pretty cool. So I like to continue on with my spiral knots to make it look like our roots continue downwards. Then to make it look like our roots are tapering off even more, I split our cord in half and instead of tying spiral knots, I am tying half hitches. To make a half hitch, all you have to do is form a loop on your right, wrap your tail in around and through the loop, and you keep repeating. Eventually it'll spiral as well. Now I debated what color to do at the bottom of her hoop here, but I did end up using the same colored green cord. To attach our 16 cords, I'm gonna tie it on using a lark's head knot. To tie a lark's head knot, you fold your cord in half, and then with the loop end, you place that behind your hoop, and then you thread your tail ends through that loop. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on adding our cord in between our roots. Because I find lark's head knots to be not that secure, I am gonna tie a row of double half hitch knots. Take your long, final 75 inch strand of cord, that is gonna be your filler cord, and we're gonna tie double half hitch knots around this cord. And we're gonna go all the way across the bottom of our hoop, making sure that your 75 inch filler cord is centered because it's gonna be a part of the fringe. I debated using blue cord for the bottom of our fringe here because I thought it might look like the ocean, but instead I went and used the green for a more cohesive look. What do you think? Do you think the green was a good choice or do you think I should have went with the blue? Either way, I'm happy. If you like it too, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.